Okay, so today we're going to talk about what is proper attire for sailing in all weather conditions. So there's two basic kinds of sailing days. There's days where it's warm and, and there's not very much wind. And there's days where it's really cold, maybe rainy, sometimes even snowy. I've been sailing in snow a couple times and then it's really cold. So on the, on the first kind of day, on like a warm kind of mild day, I've demonstrated what is some proper attire for that kind of day, okay? So first, um, on your head, it's important to wear a hat. I don't have a hat with me right now, but if you did, if I did have a hat, I'd be wearing it. One, to cover the sun from your eyes is very good. Um, it's very important to not get sun get sunburned on your face or on your ears. Um, next, you'd wear like sunglasses. These glasses turn dark in the sun, so... Um, yeah, like, so that, those are my sunglasses. I have, because I'm wearing glasses, and if you're wearing sunglasses, I have this thing called an idiot string. And what it does is it prevents your glasses from falling off of your face while you're sailing, because sailing is a pretty active activity, and you don't want to lose your glasses because they're expensive. And then next, I'm wearing, like, a shirt. This is a long sleeve shirt, but sometimes t-shirts are fine. Um, when it's hot, you don't want to have too much clothes on, because then you might overheat, and then you don't perform as well. So this shirt's made of, like, a material... Uh, I think it's polyester or something like that. Can I wear a cotton shirt? Cotton shirts are not excellent because they absorb water, and that and then that sticks to your skin and gets and like you can get really overheated or you, if it's cold or windy you can get really chilled because of it. So it's not not an ideal thing. Um, and then for pants, I'm wearing just swim trunks. On a, on on like a day where it's warm, like you know plus twenty five, that's probably fine. You don't need to be wearing. And it's like a wetsuit or anything like that. Again, like overheating is, it's not it's not a good thing to be cold. So if you're ever if you're ever unsure about whether you're going to be cold or warm, the the general rule is to dress warm. But if you know that it's like really sunny out and um, like not very much wind, it's like you also don't want to overheat. So swim trunks are probably fine in those kind of con conditions. One thing I'm doing wrong is I'm not wearing any shoes. So regardless of the conditions. The thing, the best thing to wear for sailing on your feet is some either like paddling boots, like sailing booties, which are basically, I'm not sure if you've seen them, but they're, they're like, a, they're sort of like a, a rubber, like neoprene shoe that, that you can wear. And they like insulate your feet when it's cold and that like importantly, they protect your foot from getting caught. Cause there's like lots of, there's like lots of ropes and stuff in the boat. You don't want to catch your feet, you know, cut your foot. It's not a good thing. Good time. Also have gloves. Even, so like this is personal preference, so lots of people don't like gloves, like like to wear gloves. So on a hot day, well, you can either choose whether or not you want to, whether or not you want to wear gloves, because sometimes it's nice to prevent your hands from rope burn and stuff like that, and sometimes you just might not want to wear gloves. And also, most importantly, a life jacket. Always need to be wearing a life jacket when you're sailing. That's important. This is a good sailing life jacket because it's really lightweight. It doesn't really restrict your movement a lot. Okay, and next, um, on a cold day, you need to wear a lot more clothes, obviously. So together, do you want to go through some articles of clothing that you think would be good to wear for some cold, on like a cold day? Sure. Okay, so does anybody have, starting at like the top of your body, what do you think is like most important? I'd say still a hat, because the sun can still show. Yeah, sure. So a hat, so a lot of heat escapes through your head, right? Okay. So like what kind of hat do you think is best? Something warm that's probably not going to soak up too much water, so I don't know what material that would be. Okay, yeah, that's good. So wool is usually like really good for toques. Um, cotton, not so ideal. Oh yeah, Martina's taking notes for our brainstorming. Thank you, Martina. Cool. Um, okay, so then next, what do you think is like a really good thing to wear, like on your torso or like something? A rain jacket, maybe. A rain jacket, yeah. Sailors also have these things called splash tops, which basically have like a rubber seal and it keeps the water like out of your body. So those are really, those are really important. Um, what, what about underneath that? What do you think is good? Well, you still have shorts on probably. Yeah, like the shirt you have today. Maybe. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Like a sweater without a hood? Um, yeah, and then a, a in a sweater. Suit. Yeah, a wetsuit, very important. Can you write that one down, please? Thanks. Um, <laughs> and then also, for, for like, as far as sweaters and shirts go, like, you want to pick a material that's not too, that won't absorb water. So, like, a wool sweater is good, not cotton, polyester, like, any synthetic material is good. 
And like the most important rule for a cold base is layers. Like sailors are like onions, like ogres, they have layers. Um, because it traps the heat in between each layer, and that's really, really important in keeping warm. I also wrote that down, so... Okay, well then, thank you. Um, what about on your feet, in a cold day? Socks. You wear socks? Um, yeah, so, so there's some, you can wear neoprene socks. Neoprene socks do exist, they're not very comfy. It, like, honestly, it feels like your foot is getting trapped, and, like, it can't breathe, and it's very uncomfortable. But, like, for, on cold days when it's important to be, like, warm, Where? it's, like, it's, like, worth it. And you need your sailing boots, right? Like, your paddling boots. Or, like, if you don't have paddling boots because those are, like, a specific thing for sailing, you can just wear, like, normal running shoes that you don't mind getting wet, although they're not as good. Never rubber boots. Because, okay, because, like, what do you think would happen if you if your boat tipped over and you're wearing rubber boots? Well, you'd lose them. Yeah, they, they'd be <laughs> at the bottom of whatever body of water. Of water. Yeah, you're in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Um, okay, so then, what about, like, it could be a cloudy day, a rainy day, right? But, like, the sun still exists. There's still UV and stuff everywhere. So it's still really important to wear sunscreen and sunglasses, right? Because, mm -hmm. like, you don't, you want to protect yourself from the sun. Even when you can't see the sun, it's still there. Yeah, believe it or not, it doesn't just disappear when the clouds come. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, and then what about on your hands? Because it's really cool. Yeah, it's like cool. you need gloves. Yeah, yeah. Just like um, my sailing partner doesn't uh, doesn't wear gloves sometimes, and like he's almost gotten frostbit frostbitten a couple times out of his stubbornness. Not a good time. Like you should be wearing gloves when it's really cold. Is there like different types of gloves? Is there, yeah. Like, so like these are the only ones that I have because I'm neglectant. But there is like neoprene gloves that are insulated. You can wear like just like waterproof gloves. Although sometimes those are uncomfortable because like if you if your hand gets completely submerged in the water, it doesn't matter how waterproof it is, it's still gonna get wet. So like neoprene is probably better because it like keeps it warm even when it's like soaking wet. Mm -hmm. it keeps your hand warm. Yeah. 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 So anything else can you think of? No. Okay, wanna go over a list then? Yeah. So we said that on your head you could have like a wool tooth or something, some kind of a hat if it was cold. And then like a rain jacket or a splash top or like a wetsuit, mm -hmm. so something that's not going to absorb water. For sure. Um, yeah, like a sweater, like another layer that doesn't absorb water. Emphasis on the layers. Yeah. Like, yeah, actually, the, um, fun fact, the, the little objective for this lesson is that sailors have layers. That's going to go by like the theme of Shrek. You know, he's like, donkey, ogres are like onions, they have layers. Sailors are like that too. And then, like, neoprene socks <laughs> and sailing boots, not rubber boots. Yeah, not rubber boots. Um, yeah. And, and we left out life jacket, actually. Yeah, yes. and, you, and on a warm day, you still do, in fact, need yeah. a life jacket. Yes, we cannot abandon most, the life most jacket. Important, the most important. And thing. then gloves so that you don't get your fingers frostbitten. Mm -hmm. Sure. And, yeah, oh, and then still sun protection. So, like, sunscreen. Yeah. Whatever. Sounds good. Okay, what about like on a day in the middle? I know I said that there's two kinds of sailing days. Like, what are there's some things that you can wear? Three kinds of sailing days. Unbe yeah, believe it or not, the weather's <laughs> not just one way or the other on any given okay. day. Well, I'm gonna so, say back to layers then. Yeah. Because so you're not sure. So you can wear um you can wear like a wetsuit, right? Like if it's a day in the middle, like a wetsuit's always good, like long wetsuits to cover up all your legs. Some girls on like medium weather days actually wear leggings, but you're wearing right now. Cool. Because they're actually like quite warm and they're comfy, like allow you to be flexible. So yeah, and then and then just still like you're able to take off. Like you normally have a coach boat with you, so you, if you get too hot, you can take off a layer. But it's important not to underdress. Like unless it's thirty degrees out and super sunny, like you should you shouldn't go sailing. Like in what I'm wearing right now, this is like a really warm day. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, and then I was gonna talk a little bit about like safety, like what's important for you to have with you on your body for safety. It's like, number one, life jacket at all times. These are your best friends. Mandatory, 100% need to wear a life jacket when you're on the water, near the water, thinking about water, drinking water, like any, <laughs> anything, anything. Um, and then also, um, gloves, again, on a, on, on a warmer weather day, they're not 100% necessary, but on a cold weather day, it is actually safety because like, when it's windy, ropes can be everywhere. Like, this protects your fingers from getting, like, shredded off or, like, you losing, like, a bunch of skin 
on like the either like the forestay of tra- the trapeze wires maybe if it's um but with the trapeze all that um footwear very important um for for safety like for not only for like warmth but also for safety right because like in your boat it's not just like a smooth surface you have like blocks and stuff there's ropes like your main sheet might be lying in the middle of the boat you have like your dagger board you don't like if you if you stub your toe on that like you can be like have blood mm-hmm. right and that's just like not optimal in the middle of a day of sailing like not not fun not safe you know and then also sunglasses and sunscreen is like a measure of safety as well because you need to prevent you need to like do everything you can um to like pre- get your like allow yourself to be out on the water as long as perf- possible and perform like as well as possible for as long as you can and then so besides attire what do you think is something that you should bring outside like say you know that you're going to be out on the water for four hours like what do you think is crucial this is this is a hard one whistle, water. Whistles, water there we go okay i'm actually like really impressed because i didn't tell you that <laughs> pre-video um, <laughs> Yeah, like, you need water. Like, even if you're going to be out there for, like, two hours, always need to stay hydrated. You lose water very quickly, like, when you're doing stuff athletic. And, yeah, like, a whistle is very good. I don't have mine attached to my life jacket right now, but I usually have, like, a whistle. Um, some sailors, um, probably not at, like, a cancer one 1-2 level, but some sailors, have, this is meant for a knife. So they sell knives that you can, like, put in your life jacket. That's, that's better for, like, coaches, but also, like, on higher-performance boats. Like my um my crew, um carries a knife with them at all times. Like if you if your foot gets caught in a wire, you need to like cut a rope. That's like important to have. But probably probably not at like Kansai one two level like where you guys are. Yeah, yeah. And then so that's about it. Um the a main misconception probably with sailing clothing is that you need to spend a ton of money for sailing clothing. And like while that's that's kind of true at like a racing level, like when you just go out for like a sailing camp. It's like, it's okay to wear like just a rain jacket. It's okay to wear just like pants, like rain pants that you don't mind getting wet. Like it's okay to wear your running shoes that you don't mind getting wet. It's just like not, not like as comfortable, right? Like it's harder to be flexible. So if it's like my first day sailing, mm-hmm. uh, is there anything I should bring that I like might not think of? Okay. So, so I don't know if you would th- think about it, but like layers, like you should have like a raincoat and a sweater and a shirt underneath that. And then you should have a change of dry clothes for when you come back in. And then you should have like maybe like two layers of pants. Because it might seem like 20 degrees, right? But then what if a storm blows in? Or like like you still might be out on the water in a situation where you're like like capsized or something and you're like soaking wet. Like you want to, you want to be able to be warm. And also like a water bottle. I know that you said that before, but like that's crucial sometimes. Like can't sell one, two sailors, but yeah, like a water bottle, a hat, lots of people forget a hat. Like, preferably a tight-fitting hat, right? Because in, in a windy day, if you have, like, a ball cap, it can fly off, right? Sunglasses, lots of people forget that one. Yeah. A watch, actually. I forgot to talk about a watch. So, um, more for racing, but watch is always useful to have. Like, it tells you what time of day it is. To, like, you know, like, when lunch is going to be, like, when you're going to go in for lunch. It's important. Not really a tire, but, like, snacks as well. Mm-hmm. Food and water. Yeah, that's about it. Thanks for participating in my lesson. Thanks for teaching us.